Hi, my name is Mr. El Hassan. So in today's lesson, what we're going to be focusing on is solving simultaneous equations. Now, simultaneous equations basically means two equations that happen at the same time. So the definition of simultaneous basically means occurring at the same time. So we have two equations that occur at the same time, and we need to find out the values of x and y. Now, there's three different ways of solving. You could solve, for the first one, you can solve it using... Um, substitution, the second one is elimination, and the third one is by plotting it uh, using graphs, okay, so it's entirely up to you which method you want to use, but I tend to use the substitution, I find it a lot easier. We're going to go through each of the steps step by step, and hopefully it'll make sense to you. So the first example, we're going to be using the substitution method. Now, the first equation that we have is 2x plus 5y equals 19. So that's equation number one. Let me just label that as equation number one. The second equation is x minus 2y equals minus 4. I'm going to label that as equation number two. Now to solve using substitution method, what I need to do first is to make either equation number one x or y the subject or equation number two x or y the subject so in this in this case I'm going to make equation number two I'm going to make x the subject okay so over here so step one make x the subject on equation two Okay, so we have x minus 2y equals minus 4. Now, to make x the subject, I'm going to add 2y to both sides. So 2y over here, minus 2y plus 2y cancels out, gives us 0. And whatever you do to one side of the equation, you must do the exact same opposite. So we're going to add 2y over here. And what we have is x is equal to negative 4 plus 2y. Now at this stage, let me just label this as equation 2. What I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute equation number 2, the x that I made the subject, back into equation number 1. So what we have is 2, open bracket, minus 4 plus 2y, close brackets, plus 5y equals 19. Let me scroll down a little bit. I'm then going to expand the brackets. So 2 times minus 4 gives us minus 8. 2 times uh, 2y gives us 4y. Plus 5y equals 19. Now, at this stage, all I'm going to do is I'm going to collect like for like terms. And what we have, just going to simplify it further, we have minus 8 plus 9y equals 19. I'm then going to add 8 to both sides. So what we have is 9y is equal to 27. I'm then going to divide both sides by 9. So what we have is our first value, which is equal to 3. 27 divided by 9, y is equal to 3. And that's our answer for the value of y. We still need to work out the value of x. Now to do that, I'm going to use the substitution method. I'm going to substitute the value of y equals 3 into equation number 2. So equation number two, we have x is equal to minus four plus two y. And we said y was equal to three. I'm going to substitute into the value. So we've got x is equal to minus four plus two open brackets, three close brackets. Two times three is six. So x is equal to minus four plus six. Uh, minus 4 plus 6 is equal to 2. And so our final answer is going to be the value of x, which is 2. 
and the value y which is 3. Okay, and that's our final answer. This method we've used uh, is, is called the substitution method. Okay. Now the second example I'm going to show you involves the elimination method. Now, as always, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label my equations, equation, top one equation number one and the bottom one equation number two. Now, when you deal with the elimination method, you need to decide which variable you want to eliminate. So you can either eliminate X or Y. It depends entirely up to you. I tend to eliminate the Y variable first and get the value of the X uh, variable. Okay. Now, to eliminate the y variable, we need to make them the same. Now, to make them the same value, we need to decide what's the lowest common variable, sorry, the lowest common multiple between 3 and 7, because we have 3y over here and 7y over here. Now, the lowest common multiple is 21. Okay, so we need to think, what do I need to multiply? 3 by to give us 21? Well, the answer is 7. And also, what do I need to multiply the 7 to give us 21? Well, the answer is 3. So I'm going to multiply the top equation by 7 and the bottom equation by 3. So 3x plus 3y equals 18. I'm going to multiply by 7. And what we have is 21x plus 21, oops, 21y is equal to 126. So that's equation number one. Now, again, I'm just going to repeat the same process, but this time I'm going to be multiplying it by three. So we have x plus 7y equals to 30. We're going to multiply that by 3. So we have 3x plus 21y is equal to 90. And that's equation number 2. Now what we need to do next is I'm just going to put them, arrange them together. So what we have is 21x plus 21y is equal to 126. And equation number two, we have 3x plus 21y is equal to 90. Now, to eliminate the y variable, I'm just going to subtract them together. So minus over here, and we have 21x minus 3x gives us 18x. 21y minus 21y gives us 0, cancels out. And we have 126 minus 90 gives us uh, 36. Now, what do you need to multiply 18 by to give us 36? Well, the answer x is equal to 2. Okay. Now, once we have the value of x, we can easily find the value of y by substituting into uh, the original equations, okay? So we have, we have x plus 7y. So x plus 7y, this is equation number two, we equals to 30. Now x is equal to two substitute into him so we've got 2 plus 7y is equal to 30. I'm then going to uh, minus 2 from both sides. So what we have is 7y is equal to 28. y is equal to 4 and that's our final answer. So our final answer sorry is x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 4.